Well, we're back. Hey, Obi's back from vacation day. There he is. Yay. There he is. Um, and look at that. He's are. forgot it all already. I have. I've forgotten it all. <laughs> you take you know one day was, off. I was thinking about something else. So wait, <laughs> here's the stuff you're going to hear, at least some of what you're going to hear in the podcast today. Uh, we talk about the Friends Reunion special. I'm not talking about that because I care. Well, <laughs> you're also covering the HBO Max. When is that yeah, going to be launching launch, and what blah, is it blah, launching blah, with? Whatever. Uh, we talk probably the most important thing in the podcast today is we talk about emergency pop tarts. We do. Do you have them? Have you got them set up? If you're like, what is that? Well, then keep listening. Uh, we'll help you. Uh, let's see. We talk about what I and Warren Buffett and Nikki actually all have in common. Uh, the We talk about our big Tara flops. <laughs> I like that. We're like, Tara, like... Is that your movie and it flops at the block uh, the the box office? You'll see. Uh, <laughs> uh, we found some tips for dealing with anxiety, uh, mental health. A lot of people talking about it. I, we talk about it a lot, uh, but we took a look at. I think it was like five. Uh, things that you can do in the moment, mm. like if you're in the middle of like you feel your anxiety building, like what can you do in the moment uh, to help. So there's that and plenty more to keep you busy. A lot of good stuff. Now, depending on when you're listening to this, just a reminder, tomorrow we are celebrating the riots anniversary. So, again, when you're listening to this on Wednesday, the 26th of February, mm-hmm. we will be celebrating our riot anniversary with a special Facebook Live event on our Facebook pages, our show page, which is Radio U Riot. And then, of course, the Radio U Facebook page. You can watch it on both of those. But it's a good way for us to hang out, catch up, talk another year of the riot. Yep. Eat cake, hang out with you guys, and you can watch it because it's in the evening. All right. Well, we're looking forward to hanging with you. You guys enjoyed today's podcast, and uh, me and Nikki and Warren Buffett will just be over here (laughs) playing with our iPhones. Thanks for listening today. Bye. The definition of insanity is putting the riot on again and again and expecting a better result. It's the worst of the riot on Radio U. Nikki and I... Tomorrow night. It's weird. Normally we do this on a Thursday night. So I feel like we're even going to be off a whole nother day. I I understand that we need to because circumstances and stuff, but I don't like it. (laughs) It's just wrong. It's my brain won't (laughs) accept it. Maybe we have to go even earlier in the week and have it like on a Monday and a Tuesday or. I, I don't know. I just know that I keep trying to wrap my head around that tomorrow night is our riot live or anniversary live event. But then. Thursday will not be Friday. That's still another day. Still a normal day. I I just, <laughs> I don't even know what to compare it to. Well, we're celebrating another year of our show with a special Facebook event that you can watch on both of our Facebook pages. So both Radio U or our show page, which is at Radio U Riot. So this is not like, oh, I'm going to turn on Radio U and listen to it. No, it's you, on. You get to go watch it. It's a special evening show. So one of the things that you and I really need to do probably today or tomorrow to figure out... Uh, what are we going to do? Well, we still have, you know, today and a little bit of tomorrow. You know, like, We're we... also not planning because we feel like we have another day when we oh, don't. Yeah. we got plenty of time. Uh, is there, is there going to be cake? You know, that's also another thing that's interesting. I... Should I make a note? Let me, let's make a note. Should we start? We? We start making notes. Let's, in I, fact, let's do a paper note just so we an actual an physical actual note. Physical note. It's a good call. Okay, so I'm going to put down cake is cake. what we're talking about. Yeah. Okay. Cake. Because it's our, our show's anniversary, so we're allowed to have cake. Yes. Okay. All um, right. Well, I got a note. All right. That you know what balloons. The important, we always like balloons. The important thing is, is that we've started. Yes, that's good. You know what I mean. And like, I, I wonder if we're still in the cake ordering window. Oh, no, we are. <laughs> we're still good. You can always get a remaindered one. Uh, yeah, okay. leftover. I went over to that store the other day. I'm embarrassed to tell you guys. It, it, and I just want to be clear. It's been a while. <laughs> this is not like an all the time thing. It's probably been, uh, I don't know, like September, October since I've done this. Were you going for cake? But the other day I got a real hankering. For one of those cookies that they do, and they'll do these cookies, and they just pile buttercream icing on top of them. And I was like, I'm having one of those. I'm getting one. And I went over there to get one, and the baker is like, yeah, we're not doing those. Why are they they too bad for people? (laughs) No, that's not it. They're like, do they have to get it shut down? They're like, we're getting a new display case, something, something. We don't have them. And I was just like, I. and then I was like, well, I've got a friend that really likes them. Oh, yeah, that's good. The worst is you're getting mad about it. <laughs> what is my friend going to do? You're so passionate about it. 
What are they going to do? They when really I, want a cookie with I icing. I told them I was bringing them one of these cookies. <laughs> like, that's going to make it work. You've done it now. Can't you just take a cookie and slide it across a cake? Can't we fix this? It'll just take you a minute. So don't, it doesn't need to be fancy. Fine, you know what? Do you guys have a bucket of icing I could buy? <laughs> they do. <laughs> don't make it weird. Just so give me the icing. you did not get the cookie and icing thing? Well, that that's great because now you can have cake tomorrow. Great and It feels fresher, doesn't it? I, it sure does. <laughs> wow. Not only are you already awake, but you're listening to The Riot. Your day is off to a pretty rough start. The Riot on Radio U. Man, I'll tell you what. I'm getting so excited about HBO Max. I just can't stand it. <laughs> and when is HBO Max coming? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. You don't remember? It's April or May, probably, or something. Um, or maybe it's uh, it's in May. I okay, got it. May. Yeah, I couldn't remember. But yeah, it's exciting. It's only going to be $15 a month. It's not HBO Go. No, no, it's, it's not that one. HBO Max. It's not HBO. It's, it's not HBO, HBO Max. It's not HBO shows. So no. you, you don't get those. This is different. HBO Max is, has been in other countries. And so they're bringing the name in for... It was a, stuff. It was is a it South like, America thing. Yeah, is it like Warner Brothers stuff? Or? It's Warner Brothers stuff. That's the HBO. You know who Max. owns Warner Brothers? Or you know what Warner Brothers owns? HBO. Is Friends. <laughs> yeah, HBO. Yeah. And Friends. Yes. So they announced yesterday that HBO Max will launch with an only available on HBO Max, a Friends reunion special. Yeah, we so, saw that. To be clear, it's not going to be a new episode of Friends featuring the characters. It will just be the performers showing up and being like... I thought they were going to do the the other show as well. They signed up for a couple episodes of that. Did they? I think so. But I know they're still hashing it out. Um, Meaning they're figuring out the money. Okay, well, let me put it this way. The news that I have say that they are having an unscripted event, which means that it would be like a talk show. Mm -hmm. um, Not an actual show show so did they did i miss that they're gonna actually do this is what they were talking about over the weekend so before okay. yesterday but maybe that won't come with the start of hbo max maybe yeah. that's what will well i can they just... want all the netflix friends users to go over there they do and i was also reading oh so right now friends is not streaming anywhere and so they have been selling it and i guess the sales for it have been pretty substantial like a lot of people have bought it while it's been off the quote-unquote air yeah off the stream because they miss it i even at one point saw itunes was selling the entire show for like 25 bucks so that to me if that was the only thing i was subscribing for what a deal that would be (laughs) that's all you need like i don't need to subscribe to anything again ever because i just got it but yeah that they say that's going to be their big launch thing Who's excited for about a show one. <laughs> that went off the air, what, 18 years ago? Well, people like the convenience know, of it. I and, know. you know, it's just lighthearted. We don't get a lot of shows like that nowadays. It's just a different formula today. It is. It's different. Nikki, and they, they want you to. They want you to still pay in. for it. They'll be there for you. So, very good. <laughs> You're welcome. And then what's the other one? Uh, NBC's Peacock. Yeah, Peacock. Will eventually start too. Yeah. You know what? I've just decided I'm not watching anything anymore. Now <laughs> That'll get them. <laughs> it's like, why weren't we successful? We couldn't get Obi. Yeah. Obi I didn't like it. Good. We didn't want him Yeah, anyway. but you're on CBS All Access. Shh. So. <laughs> Whatever. Like, you know, you don't have to bring that up right now. I don't know if you're really standing strong. You have to bring that up right now in front of everybody. <laughs> it was bad enough the first time around, but now it's worse. Don't believe us? Just keep listening. You'll find out soon enough. This is the Worst of the Riot Podcast. If you don't right now, okay, maybe maybe I shouldn't share this. No, I'm going to, um, but I just feel like in sharing it, you're going to learn one more thing about me that's a little shameful. Is everybody going to be disappointed? (laughs) Maybe. I'm sure they'll be fine. Maybe. Uh, Do you right now have an emergency (laughs) Pop-Tart? You do. Do you have one? (laughs) Because if you don't, you should. Well, you got to clarify. I think it's known like in a classroom or a workroom setting, Mm -hmm. not at home. Well, I mean, you... Do you have one at home? Because your emergency Pop-Tarts here at work. Yeah, I mean, it's not at home. So I think it's it's more of a work thing. Okay. 
So, I mean... In case all the other snacks are gone. If everything's gone and you haven't made any food or whatever and you, you're you on your way... And, and you, you have went, to hide it so no one else eats it. Yeah. I have. Oh, I didn't so much hide it as I put it in a designated area. It's like your, your space. This here is Obadiah's stuff. Don't touch his stuff. Yeah. And I had an emergency Pop-Tart up there. Now, you wouldn't have it at home because then that's just your Pop-Tarts. Right. Right. Now, some might argue that all Pop-Tarts are emergency Pop-Tarts. That can be argued. I And you know what? <laughs> it's fine. Whatever. Did someone eat yours or where did it go? Um. Well. Are it, you no, ready to, no, to I, break the glass? Did you eat and did you make it? Yeah, I broke the glass, Nikki. Like I I hit the, it's it's on. Uh, it's I happening. thought I was smelling your coffee. Did you even have oh, that? I, of course. Oh, yeah, okay, I mean, it's coffee. Both, I can't tell. <laughs> Coffee's not an emergency. Coffee is life. Mm-hmm. Coffee's like oxygen. Did you have the other one? Yeah. Mm. What do you mean? Did you make it warm or is it just cold? No, it's just cold. Sometimes when it's an emergency, you just dive right in. That's true. And you can still dip it in your warm coffee and then maybe warm it up a little bit. It's an interesting idea. You just have to be careful before it breaks. You know, you don't want to break and then lose it in the coffee. And you have to put your hand down in your coffee. I don't want to do that. Well, you then can hand, get a Then it's hand coffee. No one says that. You just get a spoon. <laughs> Where do you get those? In the break room where you had your emergency Pop-Tart in the first place. Are there emergency spoons? No, they're just normal spoons. We have plenty of spoons now. Maybe we should put, so there's no forks then. There's no forks. That's the you way that get works. A spoon, that's you got to scoop it thing. out you have to before have... it just breaks apart and then just goes away and it's not even there anymore and your Pop-Tart's gone. But then your coffee's delicious because it's Pop-Tart coffee. Do you have the Emergency same... Pop-Tart coffee. Do you have the same calorie thing if your Pop-Tart disintegrates? Do you still get the calories? No, because it's gone. It's gone. <laughs> Found it. It's gone. We got it. <laughs> you still get the taste of the Pop Tart. We got it. So you're getting coffee, that, and no calories. I feel like it's an ad for a new Bang Energy drink. <laughs> Emer- <laughs> bang. Drink it Emergency Pop Tart. Yep. That's the flavor. We all know what it tastes like. <laughs> so Glenn says in the backpack he has a an elk meat stick. Is that your emergency meat stick? Is that what we're dealing with? That's not bad. And it's elk? Mike says, oh my gosh, yes, I thought I was the only one. I keep one in my glove box during cold weather for my girlfriend when she gets angry at me. <laughs> when she gets angry. Angry. Well, you just got to be ready with whatever someone needs. Emergency Pop-Tart, friends. Just, I'm just letting you know if right now you are wealthy in Pop-Tarts, grab one and stick it somewhere in case of emergency. Save it for later. Maybe the riot would sound better if they spent less time improving their lives at their gym. That was sarcasm. It's the riot on Radio U. Guys, I'm practically a billionaire. Did you know that? <laughs> do you know that Warren Buffett and I are, we have a lot in common now? You do? Do you guys know who Warren Buffett is? He has like $100 billion and he just recently got his first iPhones. Really? Yeah. You and him are the same. Me, me and Warren Buffett, we're the same. Warren Buffett's like 800 years old. And he has ten hundred billion dollars and an iPhone. So, of the three main characteristics of what a Warren Buffett is, mm-hmm. he and I now share one of those characteristics. Does it talk about what he had before? He has like, been, did he switch from Android or was he old school and like I don't carry a phone because he's so old? He had a flip phone. He had a flip phone. He had a cricket or what's the? Oh, a jitterbug. He had a jitterbug. <laughs> He was like, he flipped it open and his emergency contact was his uh, (laughs) accountant. It's like, hey, how's the money? Is the money fine? Is the money okay? Warren Buffett is one of Apple's largest shareholders. Oh, I didn't know that. But he has never owned one of their products. And I doubt he had to buy it. You know, sometimes when you're just so rich, he didn't have to buy it. That's the ugly truth of it. The richer you are, the less things you actually Mm -hmm. buy. Most people just want to give you things. Yeah, so I'm sure he was given one. Oh, man. It's like, he who has a lot will be given more, and he that has a little, what he has will be taken away from him. (laughs) Everybody else, you got to pay for your own phone. Probably not him. He's 89 years old. He says proud of him for learning. he, He says that... Over the years, he's been given several iPhones by Tim Cook. Tim Cook keeps giving him iPhones, and he doesn't want them. Mm -hmm. You're out there scraping and saving and picking up an extra shift. Selling everything that you possibly can. Oh, if only I could have an iPhone. And this guy, <laughs> people are giving this guy iPhones. He's like, I don't even want it. So where are they going? I got my jitterbug, dude. <laughs> 
I have a person. I don't even have a phone. I have a person that walks around, and when they, I want to use the phone, I call them phone. And you know he's not using all the features. He's not even using all of it. He's 89. He's not going in he there. He doesn't care. He doesn't know. He doesn't care. He's just like, he's at home in his money bath, and just... <laughs> Just What's a money bath? Is it like a Scrooge thing? It's or Scrooge McDuck. Just it's cash. like, except unlike Scrooge, who only has like one place where he swims in his money, this guy also bathes in his money and he drinks it too. He's got both. He has all of it. All right. Well, now I think we're jealous. And, and I think just, that's what's coming out. We just want you to know that he, but he just made the switch. He's actually using an iPhone now. I think he's oh. just answering the phone. That's all he's doing. He's so old, or, but he has so much money that he's he's actually getting phone calls. He doesn't answer the phone. <laughs> oh, he's got an assistant for that. Someone else does. He hands them the phone. Some No, someone, ans- they, he doesn't even carry it. It's too heavy. <laughs> it's just, again, it's nice to know that the thing you're killing yourself to get your hands on, somebody else is throwing it away. Good for that. And I'll tell you what, if that doesn't get you out of the bed on a Tuesday morning, I don't know what does. Yeah! (laughs) You were one of the lucky few who missed the riot when they were live. Yet here you are. I also like to live dangerously. This is the worst of the riot podcast. Listen, you need... I don't want to talk about wants. This is not about wants. We're so far past wants right now. Okay, we're into needs, Nikki. You're going to need an Xbox Series X. Is that the new one for yeah. later this year? Don't not the Xbox One X. No, just, no, what no. What a no. piece of junk. You know, it's just I'm, old garbage. I'm embarrassed that I have that. I just want like when people come in, it's like what's under the blanket in the corner? Don't ask. Don't even Please look. Please don't at look. It. Oh gosh, it's an but Xbox. But this one's not till the end of the year, right? Or yeah. closer to the fall? Yeah, but it doesn't matter. It's still embarrassing to have the old when the news out there somewhere. I'm just so embarrassed. You're just getting ready and prepared for that shameful feeling of when your Xbox mm-hmm. is the old one. So if you were paying attention earlier this year, no, la- late last year, Google announced Google Stadia. And if you paid the big bucks, they've launched it. And one of their bragging points was, listen, we've got 10.7 teraflops of GPU power. It's almost like they're calling it into action of like flopping. <laughs> It's and, like it's not going to work anymore. And you, like all your friends, are like, what's a teraflop? Is it storage? But you, did, but you didn't want to ask. Sure. Because you don't want to be the only person that doesn't know what a teraflop is. I don't know. Do you know? Is it their online storage? I just know that, no, it's about computing power. Ah, uh, okay. I just know that Stadia had 10.7 teraflops. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But the Xbox Series X is going to have 12. All right. They're That's really... 1.3 teraflops more than Stadia. That's not... <laughs> Stadia sucks. Xbox is the best. That's the eggs in the wrong basket. <laughs> like, make it cheaper, not focusing on that as being a bonus thing. Well, the rumor is that there is going to be, like this fall, the Xbox Series X will launch, but it will... And again, this is just rumor, but it will launch next to an Xbox Series S, which will be a much like a less expensive version. So this would be the premium console, uh, and then this would be a less expensive version of yeah, it. Yeah, because when you flood the market with more stuff and make it more confusing. Well, Nikki, you're getting it. No, <laughs> you're getting one of them, I guess. You're getting it. I, You know what? There was a time when I would say you're probably right, but I mean, at this point, we are so used to there being two models, and you can mostly thank Apple for that. That like there's the really nice one and then there's the like eh. there's the other it's one there's good there's the big one there's the normal size one there's just all these different things. The other thing they announced, which actually is pretty cool, is that uh, they are calling it smart delivery. Smart delivery is this: you buy a game for the Xbox One X, mm-hmm. but you want to be able to play it on your Xbox Series X, and they are saying that games that are marked as smart delivery. Like, it doesn't mean that everybody will have it, but it basically means buy it on this Xbox and you'll be able to play it on the other Xbox as well. You're not going to have to buy it again for better graphics or more teraflops. So Good for them. Yeah. Looking forward to releasing my hit album this September. <laughs> teraflops. Teraflopping. <laughs> so... You're like, what style of music is that? We don't know. <laughs> it's an interesting mixture of like electronic, mm-hmm. hip hop, and I'm thinking some bit chip, like chip tune no, stuff. No, it's just sounds of things flopping over and then with a beat. So, yes, exactly. Thunk, thunk, thunk. See, it's got a, it's a powerful beat. <laughs> yeah. 
It's perfect. Oh my gosh, that's new and coming soon. So the Xbox Series X with more teraflops than anyone else so far. <laughs> the only morning show brave enough to say that Chicken McNuggets are part of a balanced breakfast. <laughs> The Riot on Radio U. Uh, you know what? I'm Okay. I don't know if we're all anxiety ridden and depressed or it's just some of us. I don't know. But I will tell you, uh, depression and anxiety a lot of times hold hands. And uh, man, anxiety for me has been rough the last few weeks. So I thought, uh, okay, what am I supposed to do about it? So I have been Googling. Of course, the Internet's going to fix everything. Wow. Um, it's got all the answers. But a lot of times, you know, if you struggle with certain kinds of mental health, it's sometimes it's not a matter of curing it. It's learning how to deal with it in the moment. So like, how do you deal with it when it comes up in a moment? So, Nikki, I've been looking and I've found a couple of ways that you can deal with anxiety if it's bothering you mm-hmm. in the, the moment. moment. Mm-hmm. So one of them is to take a time out. If you're in the middle of something and you're beginning to feel overwhelmed with anxious thoughts or, you know, your heart is beating out of control or whatever, take a minute, uh, listen to music, meditate, whatever you have to do, step back from the problem. Um, They say to stop drinking caffeine as I drink this coffee right now. (laughs) Well, maybe they mean later in the day. Maybe they do. (laughs) No, but that won't help you. I mean, having caffeine will make you more anxious just on its own. I, that's true, Nikki, but here's the part. I'm <laughs> I'm not even joking when I say this. What am I supposed to do when no matter how much I sleep, I could just lay down and sleep more? Well, I think maybe it's realizing if you have something coming up that day you're going to be anxious about, just say, okay, well, maybe we don't maybe have... not as much today. Yeah, maybe we don't have as much. We don't have it as late as we sometimes do. I seriously, like, I, I could go to bed right now. And it's like, but didn't you sleep? I slept a ton last night. Did you sleep yesterday? Yes, I did. Could you go to bed now? Yes, I could. But But everybody can. Are you desperate to stay awake? Yes, I am. Uh, They say, did I say deep breathing? No, not yet. Okay, so they say to practice breathing in for four counts, and then you breathe out for four counts. And you can even set a time. makes you yawn. (laughs) See, no caffeine, Nikki. (laughs) It's just terrible. Um, They say question your thought patterns. Mm -hmm. Negative thoughts can take root and distort the severity of the situation. Uh, One of the things that I thought was funny is my therapist actually said to me, he's like, okay, this thing that you're anxious or scared about, he's like, follow it to the follow it all the way out. So take your thought. You're like, what if I don't get this done? He's like, well, what if you don't take it all the way out? What happens? Okay. Somebody this and blah, blah, blah. How bad is it really? Okay. It's not that bad. Well. If it's not that bad, there's no need to get so upset about it. I thought that was a good one. Uh, Two more. Um, This says go for a walk, which kind of breaks into the taking a break. Like just go for a walk around the block or the hallway or whatever. Just don't go walk to go get coffee. Or or short term, uh, write down your thoughts. Take a minute. Write down exactly what it is that's bothering you. Um, And it says that these tricks are helpful for those who experience anxiety sporadically as well as someone who deals with generalized anxiety disorder which means you're just nervous about everything um which you know that's that's a thing so that's just five things that you could do today right now where you are that if you are feeling anxious about something uh that you could cope with it in the moment i mean there's other long-term strategies but uh in the moment these might help we don't have time for that right now you need something right now. Hey, this show's always about being in the moment, so these are better. <laughs> yeah, because in fairness, we're going to forget about it in a minute anyway. These will help. The Riot really wanted to do this live, but now they can play video games and eat rice cakes instead. This is the worst of the Riot podcast. I got to say it, guys. Someone has to. What the heck? What the heck what? It's Fat Tuesday. It is? And we haven't even <laughs> talked about it. I wondered when Fat Tuesday was going to happen. We haven't planned on it. Where's all the poonch keys at? Where are the, they're at all the stores. <laughs> is it really Fat Tuesday today? Mardi Gras, Aww. Nikki. Actually, we don't care too much for all the Mardi Gras food, but that's no, all right. No, I don't even do Lent anymore. Like I used to be like, yeah, that's tomorrow, isn't it? That leads up to Easter. So the idea is, you know, Fat Tuesday, Mardi Gras. You get uh, it all out of your system today. That's right. That's (laughs) right. You today is a feast day, and then tomorrow is a fast. Tomorrow you're like, that's it. I'm not going to. And then aren't you supposed to fast up till 
yes. Easter time. And so it's, not you, just tomorrow. You pick a something. And so tomorrow is Ash Wednesday. So if you uh, go around and you see people with uh, something on their forehead and you're like, what is that? No, I, I growing that. up, I never learned about all that. So yeah. I remember I, I was I was much older and I was like, wait a minute. Why are you? And I think you told me one day and it's yes. like, oh, that's what that is. That's what that is. So uh, that all starts today. Um, and so the punch key is a, it is a frighteningly. It's a heavy, it's heavy a heavy donut. pastry. It's uh, it's good. I mean, they have, get the filling. Oh, it's good. They have like an apple or a cherry filling. Those are the better ones. I do like the apple filling ones, but it's but it, made. It's dense. It's made with a lard. So, I mean, well, because a lot of times when you go get a donut, they're like, we're now using non-hydrogenated blah, blah, blah. So the, And this is like, we're using pure fat of animal combined <laughs> with Crisco. Oh, they try to make a donut like light and fluffy. Yeah. This is the opposite. Complete opposite. And then we used to have the uh, the baby cake where it's like this round cake that right. I think even a listener sent us one they from uh, New Orleans last year. And then inside is like a hidden little baby uh, figurine. Right. And you just eat around the cake. But also that cake is... is is dense too. <laughs> yes, it's it's different than what you're used to. Yeah. Uh, so that's all happening. So be on the lookout for it. And I will tell you this: if you go somewhere, whether it's a grocery store, a bakery, or you're just at a friend's house or the break room, and you see this box that says "Pack the Key," <laughs> it's Poonski. It's Poonski, but it would be spelled P A C Z K I. Yeah, that. And That's what like, it is. You're like, that doesn't make any sense. Shh. You're like, oh, what are these donuts? What uh, are these patsikis? It's different. <laughs> it's a poonch key. You know, I'm not sad about it, though, because tomorrow's our anniversary show for the riot. Yeah. So we're getting cake. We're going to have other fun things tomorrow night. We're so having Fat Wednesday. I'm not. We're not missing out on anything because we'll be good. You know what? Tomorrow night, that's when we should have the KFC thing. Yeah, let's do that. KFC that came KFC. out this week with their their donut chicken sandwich. We yeah. could grab that on the way in and have it. I am actually totally in in for that. That's a good idea. So then, uh, like, do you want me to grab? Like, would you prefer Pepto or like a <laughs> little Tums roll aid? Some little Tums? something something. No, I'm going to coat my stomach with some icing before we start the anniversary show. Good that call. should do the same trick. A good buttercream. <laughs> You're listening to The Riot. Let's all work together today to live life with the patience of a Nikki dealing with an Obadiah. You gotta hang in there and get through it. You're listening to The Riot. Nikki, this might be for you. Releasing tomorrow on the PlayStation 4, though I see that it has actually been out on the PC for a while, is House Flipper the video game. Oh, I might like that. <laughs> You can, I mean, you can get real hands-on in the process, inclu- including if you don't like a wall, you they've got a little uh, hammer. You can use that, uh, what do you call it, like the big... Oh, a sledgehammer? Sledgehammer to take the wall down if that's what you're interested oh, in. Oh, I see it on Steam. Mm-hmm. Or look at that. you got a spackling tool. <laughs> Would you like to spackle? This feels more like a phone app, and I bet you there are versions of it. I'm sure there's something <laughs> like it. Because I've seen a lot of ads for shows like, or for games like this. It's not really see. Okay, I've never seen an ad for oh, it. Oh, we're, we're getting different ads. I we're get, totally I get getting that. different ads. I get that, because this is, <laughs> it's never even occurred to me that this would be a thing. Oh, yeah. There's a lot. It's great. Man, that, that'd that be great in VR. There's even like, designing ones, like if you want to design a house instead. But you need you need all of it. Like they give you whatever, and then <laughs> you, you got to turn it into your dream home. Here, I'll look and see if it's on my phone. And then Chet pops up and is like, you know what I think would be great? Uh, is it a Magnolia one? May, it's not, but it could be. Mm, it and totally then again, could be. We always say whenever you get these apps, you get so stuck on them, and you're like, your house or your apartment is just... Going, it's just trashed, but yet your virtual, your virtual one house. is stunning. Well, they okay, they have yet to make something in real life that is worthwhile as good as the video game version. Well, isn't it supposed to inspire you is to, it? yeah, like look what I did, I could do this in my own life? Because, I mean, let's face it. You, I could make a rea- a uh, laundry video game and you'd play it all day, but you're not doing any laundry. No one wants to actually do it. Not actual laundry. <laughs> and I don't know if it's giving the same satisfaction, but I mean, I get it. I don't know. It's funny to watch because I have some female friends. They love, they would not sit down and play, I don't know, Doom or something, but 
they would absolutely sit down and spend hours playing Stardew Valley. And it's like, what are you doing? Like, well, I'm I'm redecorating my house in Stardew Valley. <laughs> it's really like, yes. that's, a, that's a thing. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, you can totally do that. So well, neat. I see it. Uh, it looks interesting. It's been out for a while. Yeah. So I mean, you could well, Nick, you could play this on your MacBook over there. Just I never game on my laptop. But you could. I could. You're right. I could do that. You could. I could. You could spend hours <laughs> on fake houses. And it doesn't cost you the same amount of money as if you were trying to buy this stuff in real life. Well, I think that's the fun of it. It's just the idea of like, oh, yeah, go big. I'd, I'd love to do all of this, but I couldn't afford to do all of this. But you know what? Just get another credit card, right? <laughs> that's the answer to all your problems. Let's just go further in debt. Well, they have to give you the limit, though, like... <laughs> You could still be stopped even with the credit card. I don't know. I maybe for me, I don't I don't want to renovate anywhere real or imagined. Just, Just not for you. You might be thinking that this won't be quite as bad the second time around. Well, you'd be greatly mistaken. We're listening to the worst of the riot podcast. So a couple of minutes ago we were talking about House Flipper, the video game. We thought it would be good for Nikki, and then off air she says to me. What I need is a hoarding game. No, see, what I, if I wasn't doing radio, I think maybe I would like to help people organize. I like organization stuff. Okay. And so I watch uh, a lot of Hoarders, which is like a TV show. Yeah. And for some, (laughs) I don't know what it does for others, but for me, it's like, well, we really need to stay on top of things, don't we? (laughs) Let's get moving. (laughs) Let's get moving. And there's these two houses that I pass to work each day, and they obviously have uh a problem they're obviously hoarders obviously okay it is you can see it like the windows you can't see in you can just see stuff and then it spills out and it's outside too so i would just every time i drive by i was like well should you just leave a letter like can i help you can i come over knock on the door or something but i thought well what if there's a game where you could just like clean up in the game (laughs) there you go (laughs) Nikki, Nikki wants a game where you can clean. You know, you can like help it organize and get everything back on track. And then I, I think found, that'd be a good game. Then I, I started searching for one, couldn't find one. So maybe that's our million dollar idea. That's one. And then two, Nikki, I was looking here. I found some companies that their whole job, like they specialize in hoarding cleaning In hoarding cleanup. Yeah. So, I mean, like, if, did you see if you scroll down, it's also like crime scene cleanup. Okay. But don't. I think you might actually be able to get a real deep sense of satisfaction out of this. The hoarding side. I don't want to do the crime scene one. I'll bet you after a while. You actually, the crime care. scene one might actually be better than some of the hoarding stuff I've At seen. At least that stuff's fresh. That's true. Oh. Yes, it's, it's just probably less. So It's not a whole house full of it. Yeah. Dude, if you, I mean, I know you've seen the videos, but if you've never been, have you ever been in a hoarding place no i've not i know yeah. you had someone i had some very extended extended by marriage family that the person was a hoarder and it's funny because everybody was like no 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 she's not a hoarder it's just because we have uh what was it, like two households living together and i was like uh sh- that's only one person <laughs> the answer and so i rem- i just remember at one point visiting she had a townhouse yeah. i remember going in and being like what and then seeing hoarding on tv so i were i like sent a file over and i was like hey you need to check this out and like everybody got so mad at me oh uh, because even. you called him out on it it was just like and i'm looking at it going guys uh it's not like I, <laughs> like look it's pretty obvious when you're outside you, looking in i mean when you asked me like we're gonna clean up the house and i helped you put everything in that storage space that you had do you guys remember that and it was clean for like a week and now it's like full of stuff again do you guys remember that i'm not helping you clean up we're, the we're stuff not doing again. it anymore yeah. well nicole yeah. texted in she said she heard her friend told a story about a house she used to pass all the time there were jars of liquid in the windows and they thought it was like a stained glass thing but it wasn't it was jars of pee that the lady was keeping oh yeah and that's that's common thing that's a just thing com- so if there was a game where I could just go in and clean it up. Get the satisfaction oh, of cleaning. Yeah. Boy, that would really make my day. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it would. <laughs> what if uh, what if there was a game where you went in and you just had a flamethrower and you just burn it all no, down? No, because I think part of the show is, is helping the person. And right. I, I think I like that side of it. Okay. Not just, you know, throwing it all out or torching it all. Oh, see, I would just be like, all right, That's listen, your game. 
we're going to fix this. And the first thing we're going to do is I'm bringing in a dumpster. And we're throwing, sometimes you do have to just throw it all away if it has a lot of. Uh, we're throwing everything away. If it's really dirty. Not my ketchup packet collection. Yep. That's what they always say. Yep. <laughs> first to go. That's the first out there. Is it healthy eating so many snacks, chips, and Oreos every single morning? No, of course not. But they do it for you. Not too many guys got their stomach for this line of work. That's real love. It's the riot on Radio U. There's a proper order to do things. You ask other people what their experience was like, and then you do it. You don't just jump in and do it yourself and then go, hey, everybody, how did it work for you? (laughs) I live in the second space and not as much the first. Yesterday I was off, right? Which meant I had internet and I was, you know, idle hands and fingers and whatever. So I ended up buying stuff. Terrible choice. Uh Uh-oh. Terrible. What'd you buy? I bought some new shirts, just a couple of of t-shirts. So Woot yesterday, or maybe it was, I think it actually was Sunday night that I was doing this. Um... Yeah, it's it was. A blur, it was. Right? Yeah, it was so much fun. It was. It actually was. It was Sunday night that I did this. Is that but, better? Um, I don't know that it is, but it was. Uh, what is it like? Shirt.woot.com. If you were an Amazon Prime member, they had a thing where it was buy one get one free. Well, because Amazon owns Woot. They do. Yeah. And so it was just buy a shirt, get a shirt free. And so I was like, you know what? I don't want to go overboard here because, like, I could really buy some shirts, right? But you could use. Shirts. So I bought two shirts. Mm. Like so, I got a total of two shirts so, from them. So you bought bought two? one and got one. Okay, got ya. Because what I was afraid was they'd show up and I'd be like, "These are napkins. These are not shirts." Like I'm not even going to be able to wear this one time. If it rains, the shirt is going to crumble off of me. You mean you're worried about the quality? Well, have you ever bought a shirt from Woot? Oh uh, well, Eric has, and I don't. They're too stiff. Like they're like really heavy t-shirt material. Okay. Whereas I guess I prefer more of the thinner t-shirt material, hmm. which tends to get ruined, like you mentioned, after a while. I wonder what I will think of those shirts. They're pro- they're heavier though. I that I probably would like less about design and more about you know sturdy. I would like to have a shirt that I buy online that lasts through, I don't know, two, maybe even three washes. I, I feel That's too much to ask for. Well, I feel You're like so every, ungrateful. I feel like every time I find a place where I get some good shirts from them, once I go back to them, they, they change. They change to a different shirt and it's crap. Uh, well, the, I also tried, I got Woot. I did two shirts from them. And then I bought a shirt from, I believe, T Public is what they were called. They were having a sale and I was like, huh. You know what? I thought like, oh, it's a good sale. I should buy a few shirts. And I was like, no, no. I need one shirt. (laughs) Just try it out. To try out. (laughs) And then I will talk to you about whether or not it's okay for me to buy more of their shirts. I'm glad. This is good. Normally, you're spending money on other things and shirts we can actually use. Yeah. So three new shirts out of my way, plus a sticker. They had had a sticker and I was like, I would like to put that on my laptop. So, you have laptop space. I do. I actually have, if you look at the bottom right quadrant of the laptop lid, there's room for a sticker there. You, so got, you got real estate space yeah, ready I, for a sticker? I've been looking for the right one, you know, and I just don't feel like I found it yet, but now that maybe might be have. the one. I really, on the one hand, you like to get a big sticker. I hope it's not too big because I need it to fit. So, <laughs> fingers crossed. Well, busy but, busy weekend, and then, yeah, OB, you had the day off yesterday. Hey, feel free to text me. I would love to know if anybody else has done Tee Public <laughs> or Woot shirts. Did you see Corey's text? No. When I want high-quality shirts, I go to shop.radiou.com. That's it, Corey. Do you want to know something? <laughs> we actually do have good shirts. We do. That's why like, we tend to not buy outside like, of the Radio U world. That's why if you come home like to my house and I've got a drawer that is basically nothing but Radio U shirts, and that's because they've survived. You're like, no, it's just because you get free ones. No, not only, <laughs> yeah, a lot of times I didn't have to pay for it, but they lived. They're the shirts that live. Aww. So, so if you want, if you're looking for something, shop.radiou.com, you can get a shirt there. It's true. That year we did the I Am Radio U shirt, and it was red like the Empire design or whatever. I got a couple of those, which, yes, I got them forgiving, just to be clear. I'm wearing those in the gym now, and they're still in amazing shape. If you missed out on the next Riot moment when it originally aired, you don't know how lucky you are. You're listening to the Worst of the Riot podcast. This sucks so bad. And I know it's badly because it's an adverb. It's modifying. It how works. Bad it's fine. It's, I get it. But I, dude, okay. 
Joseph Oldendorf broke his leg while running on a trail in Olympic National Forest in the state of Washington. I saw this story. That was Friday at about 5 p.m. He was not in self-service area. He's in Nowheresville. Mm. 12 miles out, okay, when his tibia became detached from his ankle. He had no phone signal. He had to crawl back 12 miles. So he crawled back to where he did get service. Right. And then they said that they were going to come and get him, but he felt like if he would have stayed put because it was so cold and because of how his body was that he could possibly die. Mm -hmm. So he just kept like going until they were able to rescue him. So he got phone signal. He'd been crawling for seven Mm. hours. Um, And after that, as Nikki said, he makes the call. They say, we're on our way, and he begins crawling oh, goes. again. Yeah. Uh, Did you because, see his legs? Uh, No. Okay, wait until you see his legs. It's no joke on what happened to him. Oh, it's bad. Like, his skin, a lot of his skin's gone. It's kind of like when you get, um, like, frostbite or something, and your skin can turn, like, uh, really, really dark and stuff. Yeah. it's It looks like that. It's all red and just terrible. Because, you know... He's out there in shorts and a t-shirt or whatever mm-hmm. running. Which was fine for running, but not not you know when he was trying to get back. Yeah. So I, I'm just glad he was able to survive that. It's wild. And it's why I will not be. Not going to do that? No. You know what I did? I was in, uh, I was in Oregon over the summer, and I went on a 15-mile hike uh, that was, I mean, it wasn't one of those things where... Uh, I think I might have had cell service for most of it, but there is this feeling when you're in it where it's just like, there's nothing here. And it's not even like there's nothing here. Like, man, I don't think there's a McDonald's for like a whole mile. It's like, there's nothing, nothing. It's like there, there's nothing like nothing. You're in the woods, like out into woods. And the only way out is through. You are not getting to come back. It's crazy. Well, he had to, he had to go. Like he couldn't stay there. He knew no one was going to find him. Amazing. So he did, and he survived. Mm-hmm. That it's incredible, dude. And it's enough. I mean, you know what? Treadmill. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's not majestic beauty. It's stupid reruns on five TVs. You in mean front you want to you want to stay inside for your runs? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> I mean, maybe not. Maybe I'll ru- maybe around the block. Our paths are not like that here. They're not. Are people really still listening to the riot? You don't have work to do or laundry to fold or literally anything else to do. The Riot Radio U. I'll tell you what. One of my favorite people in the entire world is Michael. Uh, Michael's our boss. He's the general manager here at Radio U. Happy and birthday, I am Michael. So excited. <laughs> it's, our, it's his birthday today. About our boss's birthday that I wanted to just take a couple of minutes here on the radio to gush about what an amazing Uh-oh. person he is. <laughs> what are you going to gush about? Happy birthday <laughs> to you. Come on, Chris, get in here. Come on, Come on in, sing to Michael. Your... He's not even Happy here. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, <laughs> dear, dear Michael. The He's best not- boss of the entire world. <laughs> Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Yay! Yay! Yeah! 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 I'll like- tell you what, if we took the whole day and just celebrated him, <laughs> that would be great. Well, we're supposed to. It's his birthday today. Yes! Come on! <laughs> The party starts now. We are ready to go. (laughs) Remember, everybody, your boss's birthday is an important day. It is. We got lunch today, later on. Yeah, we do. Come on. We're doing that. Who wants a meeting? Well, we have meetings. I have meetings later with him. Yeah. Yeah. (gasps) Birthday meetings. It's a good day. Good day. Good times. Yeah. And then if you're looking for something else to celebrate and you're like, how does it get better than that? (laughs) Tomorrow it can. Tomorrow, the Riot Anniversary Live event is happening. There will be cake. It's at 9 Eastern, 6 Pacific. PM. It's tomorrow night. We are celebrating a special Riot show for our Riot Anniversary Mm -hmm. that you can watch. So you won't listen on Radio U. You'll be watching on Facebook. And I'll just tell you right now, we're dedicating that one to Michael. Because none of this could be possible without his generous support. <laughs> so 
Yes, he's a he's a generous yeah giver. Remember, <laughs> you stand on the shoulders of your manager every time you go into work. <laughs> they make it possible. Worst of the Riot podcast. And then when there was that time we had that other meeting. It is the Riot. Sorry, I'm just talking about favorite times <laughs> I spent not, with my manager. He's not been doing that. What are you talking about? It We've been our, passing the conversation t- stick, taking turns. It's our boss's birthday today. Talking about how excited we are about his birthday. Uh-huh. You are, and we actually are. I don't want it to come across like we're not, because we are. I don't understand. Oh, yeah. Because I feel like when you say that, you know, make it, it seem, it seem even like more it like But we are. All right. So happy birthday, Michael, again. So, Nikki, what did you think of that first trailer for Transformers War for Cybertron Siege? Is there a new Transformers? I thought they stopped doing them. Did you see that? Looks pretty good. Is it a new movie or what? Uh, yeah. It's coming to Netflix. Mm-hmm. It's a new Transformers movie. Is it animated? It's computer animated. And you know what? I actually do think that it looks pretty cool. So what is it called again? It's called Transformers War for Cybertron. Okay. Transformers colon War for (laughs) Cybertron colon (laughs) Siege. So it's an anime one. Can you have two colons in the title? Well, I guess you feel like you can do whatever you want to. Shouldn't be like Transformers dash War for Cybertron, colon, Siege. Now that I'm looking at their titling, it's like, wow, there really is. <laughs> There's two of those in like, there. They're really going for it there with <laughs> two different. So it's a three-film trilogy that'll be... A uh, trilogy? Yeah, on Netflix. And this is the first chapter. So chapter one of it, and it's called Siege. Yeah, but it's a, they call it a movie. How long does something have to be for you to call it a movie? Um, That's a good question. Can you get away with 60 Minutes? I feel like they could. I think if it's over that. Okay. So we can pull for 90. Something like that. Are you just playing it over there? All I just hear is, I think, is that Autobot or who is that? Optimus Prime? Optimus Prime, that's it. Just growling in the background. It's weird. You know what it is? That's your heart. Is it? That's your heart making that sound. Because when I talk about Transformers, you hear Optimus Prime talking to you from your heart. So people seem to That's have, what I think's happening. Have some good uh, thoughts on this. It's from Rooster Teeth Studios, which uh is something. Oh, okay. Aren't they We've heard this before. Rooster Teeth. No. Rooster it's the one Te- are those the guys that made the Red uh, versus No, didn't Okay, wait. Who are the guys that made Super Troopers? Aren't those Isn't that Rooster Rooster Teeth? Yeah, Rooster. No, they they do animation. Why? Okay. I we got to do some research. I'm fine. <laughs> I got it wrong, out more okay? About it. I got it wrong. It's fine. <laughs> so, they're the ones I think it looks cool. I'm up for it. I don't have a release date on it as of yet, but uh, as soon as we know something, you'll know something right away. Moving now. The worst of the riot is over, but the fun can keep going. Hey, I saw you checking out my goods. Check the Riot blog or stalk us on social media. You want to sample them? A little try before you buy, huh? Through riot.radiou.com. <laughs> yeah, 